In this video, I would like to show you how to do a firmware upgrade to the Antonia 4 megabyte memory upgrade that is installed inside this Atari computer. If you have the Antonia 4 megabyte from the first edition, from the first batch, you will notice that when you connect a side 2 cartridge, it will not boot into the cartridge menu, instead it will take you into a self-test. Or if you boot the UNO cartridge, it, the cartridge menu will not boot as well, it will just take you to a black screen or just an empty screen. Or if you plug in the ultimate cartridge, you will notice that the menu does boot, but if you try to run any of the ROM images from the menu, it will uh, not boot, just take you uh, to self-test or will not boot the cartridge itself. So luckily there is a way to upgrade the Ultimate 4 megabyte with a new firmware. And to do that, <clears throat> we need a USB blaster. You can order a USB blaster adapter from eBay for about five or six dollars. This USB blaster will connect to the Ultimate 4 megabyte board on one side or and to, the, uh, to your PC computer to the USB port on the other side. To do that, we will need to take out the Ultimate 4 megabyte out from the Atari computer. So, simply the Ultimate 4 megabyte can be removed from the Atari computer very easily because it's uh, just an upgrade that is inserted inside the Atari computer. Now, the first batch of the Ultimate does not have an upgrade port, this space over here. So we need to solder a, a micro-match um, connector. You can get this connector from eBay for 2 or $3. One side of the connector will go into the space here on the um, Antonia 4 megabyte, and the other side we we're going to push and add the connector into the ribbon cable of the USB blaster. So let's do that. Let's first solder the connector to the Antonia 4 megabyte board and then we were just going to plug this uh, the upgrade into the computer and to the connected to the PC machine and show you how you can do the upgrade. So let's go and solder the connector. We soldered the connector to the board, to the Antonia board and push the male connector to the ribbon cable of the USB blaster and now we're going to plug this into the Atari computer and uh, connect it to the PC in order to upgrade the firmware. So we're going to push back the Antonio board into the Atari machine and connect it to the PC and download the USB blaster theme software to do the upgrade. We're going to download the USB blaster software from the Altera website. The homepage is dl.altera.com. It will take us into the Altera software, the USB blaster software. We're going to click on additional software and if you have a 60 the 32-bit operating system you can need to download this package i have the 64-bit operating operation system so i'm downloading the quartus prime programmers and tool it may require you to log in in order to download the software i already have an account and i logged into this page before but if you did not you can just uh, click here to create an account it's a free account just enter your email, create a username and password, and it will allow you to download software from this site. So when you once you select this package, you click on download, and the software will be downloaded to uh, the, the path that you select. I'm going to just save it on the desktop. So now it's downloading the file. It's about uh, 350 megabyte. Just download it into your desktop and when it's done you can go ahead and uh, double click on the installation file 
in order to uh, install the software. So uh, let's wait a bit for the software to finish an install. Once the software finished download, just double click on the installation file and you can uh, go ahead, click next. The installation process is pretty much straightforward. Just click next, select the path you would like to software to be installed, click yes. And let's wait for the installation uh, process to be finished. It's going to take uh, about 20-30 uh, seconds for the whole process to finish installing the file. After we install the software, let's go and launch the Quantus programmer. So while we launch it, what we have to do first is connect the USB blaster to the PC computer to the USB port. The USB blaster will be automatically detected by Windows operating system and we can check that. You can see now it says no hardware. We're going to click on the hardware setup and we're going to select the USB driver, the USB blaster that is being detected. We're going to select USB blaster and click close. And now we are letting the programmer software communicate through the USB blaster. We can check that the connector is being soldered correctly and that uh, the plug is connected correctly by clicking auto detect but first we have to switch on the Atari computer so we're going to switch on the Atari computer so the Altera um, the Altera upgrade for megabyte upgrade will be powered and then we can click auto detect and then we can see that it's uh, detecting the Altera chip correctly so let's go and remove that next thing that we want to do is add a file and uh, I asked Simius from Atari Age, the creator of the Antonia 4 megabyte, to send me uh, the upgrade firmware. So it's uh, stored here on the desktop. I'm just going to load the firmware upgrade for the Antonia 4 megabyte. And I'm going to click on the two options here program and verify. And when uh, after checking those two checkboxes, just click start and it's going to upgrade. But to for the upgrade, in order to the upgrade to succeed, there is a jumper on the Antonia 4 megabyte that needs to be removed. So we're going to remove the jumper from the Antonia 4 megabyte in order for the um, for the uh, FPGA, for the Altera FPGA to be able to be programmed. So remove the jumper and click start. And you can see that the progress bar, it's now being fully populated to 100%. So now we just upgraded the firmware for the Antonia 4 megabyte FPGA. Next, you have to do is a switch off the computer put the jumper back into its place. It's a small jumper. There is only one jumper on the board. Put it back and uh, let's test and see how uh, we did. We removed the flat cable from the connector that we soldered into the Antonia 4 megabyte memory upgrade and we put back the jumper. This is the small jumper right here, just next to the 65816 CPU. This is the jumper that we had to remove in order to do the firmware upgrade to the Altera FPGA. When we finished with the upgrade, just put back the jumper and um, let's put back the Antonia into the Atari computer. Put back the Antonia 4 megabyte inside the Atari computer. Let's close the Atari machine and let's see that the computer boots into BASIC. 
and it does. Let's test first the side 2 cartridge, cartridge that did not boot with the original femur of the Antonia. And now we can see the side loader. We can then try and uh, uh, load a, a demo or something, executable file, and it works. Let's also try the Uno cartridge that it also did not boot before. Just give us a, a blank screen and we can get into the Uno menu. We can uh, select a cartridge to see if it works. Yeah, it does. And also let's give a try to the Ultimate cart. The ultimate card did load the menu before, but when we try and select any game, it just gave a self-test. So let's see if a, a game works. And it does. <clears throat> so this is the process how you could upgrade your Antonia 4 megabyte to the latest uh, femur for the Altera FPGA that will support the side cartridge, the ultimate cartridge, and the Uno cartridge. Thank you for watching. And until next time, enjoy your Atari.